Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Tunnel 10 Let's Play. And yes guys, I know I just uploaded a video of our Tunnel 10 Let's Play, but today something special is going to get done. And guys, this is episode 20. Yes guys, 20 episodes of our Tunnel 10 Let's Play and we're going to be maxing our queen today. I know, right? It's amazing. So after 20 episodes, our queen will be going level 40 and our king is going level 35. That means that we've done 15 levels in 20 episodes. I think that's pretty dang, uh, pretty successful, but also pretty, um, pretty, uh, Pretty special. I think it's pretty awesome. So, before we get all caught up in the upgrading and whatnot, I do have a boost rolling, and I have miners in my camps getting ready to roll. So, let's go. Let's upgrade. Not upgrade. Let's farm some Dark Elixir so that we can upgrade our queen. Level 40, guys. And I am going to let her just sleep for seven days. So, you know, no, no gemming or anything like that. Trying to keep this as fair play or uh, free to play as possible. So I'll be right back once I find a decent base and um, we can wreck it. Hmm. Hey guys, this actually looks pretty good. I was going to skip it. I really was, but I, I think I've figured out a way to be able to do a pretty good job against this base. So check it out. First of all, we have the dark Lich storage in the core and I have a wall wrecker, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Also, we've got a few drills on the outside. So let's start with this. Let's go one, two, three. And I think three, no, let's go four. There's too many point defenses on this poor thing. There we go. Nice. All right. So now let's start with a funnel. Let's go one, two, three and one, two, three. Also, let's watch and see if there's any clan castle troops. There is not. That is huge. All right. And then wall wrecker let's go through that hut I believe that the wall wrecker itself will actually get that storage or if it doesn't then I will pop my wall wrecker right there and uh, let the max miners come out of there so let's see what are you gonna do wall wrecker are you gonna stop are you gonna get that dark out of that storage you are oh you brilliant brilliant little beastie and I've got some max miners in the core I might as well heal them and see if they'll get that town hall. I doubt it though, because actually no, I'm not gonna waste my heal because those are single targeting infernos, guys. That's gonna be brutal. And I mean like borderline brutal. Yeah, yeah, see that without the heal, without any kind of raid or anything, these uh, miners are doing, actually they're doing a pretty good job. <laughs> I'm gonna drop a heal. I know there's only like two left. Wow, I can't believe they got the town hall. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. See the power, the sheer strength of a wall wrecker is just, is just borderline insane. All right, just borderline insane. All right, so miners, I want you guys to go into that direction. Uh, I'm gonna kind of funnel out these buildings and then we're gonna get in there. We're gonna get the elixir out of the storages too. And I'm gonna use a heal here because of the wizard tower and that's pretty much all that I'm gonna need to use. Um, let's also start working on that gold storage because I want that gold storage to go down before I put down any more miners. So good job miners, doing a great job. And I can't believe we got that town hall, guys. That was just crazy with only like, I don't know how many miners, like five or whatever. Just crazy, dude. All right, let's go one through four, one through four. Let's heal over here, heal over here. And that should be all that we need. Also, poison over the queen. Never mind, we didn't need to do that. We wasted her poison. Uh, that's okay, I guess. And now we're getting all of the elixir, which is great. We need that elixir to feed our miner problem um it's not a small problem it's a miner's problem uh because they do cost a lot of elixir so what, what can i do with my queen here you know what i could probably get a gold storage no let's no let's just do this let's do this let's get the queen let's take out the elixir collector and then let's go and cut out i don't want to lose my queen is there any loot in there i don't think so i don't see any coins yep there was no loot inside of that clan castle kind of lame if you if you do ask me but dude I can't believe I'm still in shock that like five max miners were able to grab the town hall in the face of two single targeting infernos and an X bow and a bunch of other stuff. That was insane. So we got the two star, the loot bonus, everything included. We got over 400,000 gold, 540,000 elixir, give or take, and over 3,800, 3,900 dark elixir. That was a, that was a nice grab. That was a lot better than I was expecting. So let's, um, let's get the next army training up. I've got to, let's go ahead and do that. Quick train, some more miners. And I've got four minutes till I can request for some CC. So I say we go out without CC. All right, let's just go try it out. 
find another base. And hopefully we can find something really, really quickly because quite frankly, I don't want to have to remember to cut the video, but also I think it's cool to show you guys on occasion the, the clouds or like the uh, the searching for a base because I'm just in Master League. I'm pretty low down here right now and it's not too difficult usually to find a good base. So I'll search through a couple more and if I don't find anything, I will skip it for you until we find something decent. Um, and this is generally what I find actually, like 10 or 10s, kind of low level with very little loot. So I'll be right back once I find something awesome, except nope, that one wasn't good enough. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, guys, I haven't looked at the base. All I saw was 6,900 Dark Elixir, and this time I have no Clan Castle, and this time I have no Wall Wrecker, and this time I'm sad, but we're gonna do our very best to do our very best. So, let's get in here and look at what we got. We got a drill and a storage kind of in the same spot. That's encouraging. Uh, another drill next to a Inferno, that's scary, and another drill next to a Wizard Tower and a Bomb Tower. All right, are any of them available? Yeah, I can get this one with my Queen. That's cool. Well, maybe. I mean, you know, it depends on if she survives. She can reach it, all right? So let's do this. Let's actually get our Miners. Let's do a little bit of a funnel. So let's go one, two, three on that side, and then one, two, three. We're gonna go far out, and let's go on this side, all right? This side. I'm gonna make sure to keep things on her heel. All right, so let's heal early, heal early on both sides. We, we got to keep them alive, guys. And then, hopefully, these guys will get both of those drills and also the storage. So let's heal, heal, heal. There we go. Get in there, get that storage, guys. I've got my um, poison spell ready for the king or for the queen or whoever decides to step up. And hopefully the... Oh, man, this Inferno Tire is wrecking me right now. This is not good. This is not good. Um, are we okay? Let's heal on the core. Very good. Oh, that's my last deal. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Drill goes down. We got the other drill. Storage is going down, too. Let's poison this king. Dude, I can't believe this. These miners are... They're doing better than I ever expected. I have to be completely honest. I did not at, at all expect to, one, get that town hall earlier, and two, actually make it through all of that. I knew that there was going to be giant bombs and death all over the place, and somehow we managed to get it. So now what, what I got to do is I'm going to get my queen. I'm going to put her right in the nook here, because if I put her right here in the corner, she'll get the mine, she'll get the the uh, the mortar, the cannon, the arch tower, everything. And I've got to do it quickly. So queen get good over the Oh, I missed the button! How did I miss the button? How did I miss the button? Was that a class fail or was it an iPad fail? It could have been an iPad fail. Dang it, dude. If I had hit that button, it would have been another 1,350 Dark Elixir gained or however much it was. That was, man, that's disappointing. I'm sorry. I feel like I let y'all down. We can blame the queen. Can we just say queen, queen, uh, queen fail? I'm going to say queen fail this time. So anyway, either way, guys, either way. We still got over 5,600 Dark Elixir that raid. And it went fantastic. And again, I didn't have a CC. I didn't have a wall wrecker. Didn't have a king. And we still did a fantastic job of that raid. 5,600 plus the gold was decent. And the elixir probably covered our cost. I don't even really know. So very nicely done, guys. And I've got one more army that will be done. Oh, my boost ended. Blast. Okay, well, let's just check out a, let's check it. Oh, I've been promoted. Oh, yeah. Let's go check out a replay, guys. My, oh, well, my most recent one before the video started was 50. Oh, look at this base, guys. Over 700,000 gold, 648,000 elixir, and 5,300 dark elixir. All of it being on this side of the base. I've only got three heals. Oh, two. I've only got two heal spells here, guys. This is kind of clutch. Uh, so I think two of the drills are over here. I think that one of the drills is over here. And um, and we've already got the storage. That's already 3,800 Dark Elixir. That was already worth it. Oh, and by the way, watch that expo at the bottom. Just watch. Just, just watch and enjoy. Notice how this is a dead base, but not fully dead. That Inferno's dead. Now the expo is dead. I told you to watch it. I hope you did, because that baby just ran out of ammo. Um, and I don't think we're going to get that Town Hall. There's a little bit too much going on over there. But these miners are just insanely strong, guys. Again, only two heals. Sometimes I bring less heals, and I have obviously full stack of miners, because the miners, they take less time to cook. So that means that sometimes I have these un, these weird armies, but it's all good. I mean, still, uh, with this queen, when this queen grabs this Dark Elixir drill, we're going to miss out on the town hall, but we're going to get that drill. Check it out. Boom. Get some dark, baby. Very, very nice. So that was 4,894 Dark Elixir plus a loot bonus. If I got a full loot bonus, 
that I didn't, but if I got it, it would have been over 5,500 Dark Elixir. So insane grabs, guys. Still loving it here in Master League. And with our maxing of the queen today, all we're going to have left is um, five king levels. And I'm sure that you guys are going to enjoy seeing that. And then once the king levels are done, then we get to start prioritizing different things. I mean, of course, right now I'm 100% prioritizing Dark Elixir because I just simply hate having to upgrade heroes. But once they're maxed out at level 40... What are we going to do with ourselves? You know, we're going to keep focusing on defenses and walls and things of that nature. So, Queen, are you going to keep going? We got 40 seconds of this, guys. The Queen is just a beast. Oh, wait, I've got CC. Oh, I've got CC bowlers. Check it out, guys. Bowlers. Oh, P, baby. That giant steps up. He's going to start doing a little bit of the tanking. He also aggros an arch attack. While the bowlers, they just do all time. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Priority. Priority one. Kill the corner to, uh, corner hut. Very nicely done, my, my dudes. All right, so check this out. Watch this. Bowlers, they're going to smack that bomb tower, and they're going to also take out the archer tower with it. And then they start damaging the gold storage. They get a little bit of gold, and you know, a few thousand gold per hit, or a few hundred, yeah, a few thousand gold per hit. So it's definitely worth it to let them do this. Uh, bam, nicely done. And then he starts banging on the wall, and he gets shot in the face by a cannon. Given enough time, he probably could have killed that cannon with just a simple bounce damage. So beautiful, guys. 4,800 plus. That was... 5,500 dark. And then this base had a lot of golden elixir on top of that. So very, very nice. Love it. Um, and now, guys, the moment that you have all been waiting for. It's time to max the queen. Let's go into my progress base. And um, I did say that I it's it's not been a long time since I filmed another account so, or another video. So I have not done any walls in between episodes. But I have extra loot that I will likely be putting into walls. So first... No, no. If we upgrade the queen first, we'll have no builders. So let, the queen is last. All right, we're going to have to spend a moment, and we're going to invest some gold into our walls. Do I have anything in my treasury, by the way? I have nothing. Nothing in my treasury, of course. All right, so let's upgrade two walls. Four million gold in three, two, one. Bam. There we go. And then I've also got some elixir. I'm going to save a little bit of that, baby, because um, simply miners are expensive. So let's do two walls. Four million elixir in three, two, one. Bam. That was eight million loot poured into walls it might look insignificant but it was totally totally worth it and it was expensive so there you go couple of walls done during the video not bad now i've got empty storages so now it is time to empty the one and only storage that really matters that dark elixir storage and we're going to be sending the queen to max level 40 this again guys episode 20 it's kind of perfect um 15 hero levels now in the last 20 episodes and in the first 20 episodes of our tunnel 10 let's play very very exciting guys let's just jump right in 175,000 dark leaks so i've got like 180,000 so it's perfect let's do this and it's a full seven day upgrade uh totally worth the wait let's go in three two one bam Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Now the queen is technically maxed out, so I'm gonna have to separate the star cross lovers here for a while, and let's put the king, the queen, over here on the maxed side of the base. Very, very exciting, guys. One less thing to worry about on the base. And again, I'm gonna have to wait for seven days for her to wake up, but it's totally, totally worth it. And now let's discuss something. I did a little bit of math, and actually I could pull it up. I have it recorded here. So. In 70 days, as of today, in 70 days, two months and 10 days, give or take, all of my defenses should theoretically be done. I did the math. And then my laboratory will take 157 days. That leaves like three months extra between defenses and lab. That's a long time of having a max tunnel 10 and just working on lab upgrades. Of course, you know, if we have like clan games, books and things like that, that'll definitely help. Um, but for the most part, guys, we're going to be struggling. We're going to be struggling with things. So um, I need you guys' as opinion. Do you guys want me to, once the base is maxed out, and I know this is really premature, we got three months or whatever until two and a half months or whatever until the base is maxed. But what do you guys want to see? Do you guys want me to see me max the base and then just say, by the way, guys, this is the order of the laboratory upgrades I'm going to do. Finale, take it easy, love ya. Or would you rather I continue to make videos of those laboratory upgrades at the end after, again, the base, and the, the walls, the fences, everything are completely maxed out? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But for now, I think that's all I can do. Yep, I've pretty much done everything that I can do. Guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already for daily gaming videos. And as always, remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.